Have you ever wondered how websites are built? Today, we demystify the process. In the vast world of web development, there are three key components that come together to create the websites you browse every day. These are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Imagine you're building a house. HTML, or hypertext markup language, is like the skeleton of the house. It lays out the structure, defining where each room goes and how the overall house is arranged. Then comes CSS, or cascading style sheets. Think of this as the interior design of your house. It determines the colors, the fonts, the layout, and all the aesthetic elements that make your website visually appealing. Finally, we have JavaScript. This is the functionality of the house. It's the electricity, the plumbing, the heating. It's what makes your website interactive and dynamic. So, are you ready to start building? Let's dive into HTML first. HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language, forms the backbone of any web page. It's like the blueprint of a building, defining the structure and content of a website. Think of a web page as a house. HTML is the architect's plan that outlines where the walls, doors, and windows go. In the web world, these elements are equivalent to headers, paragraphs, links, and images. These are the basic building blocks of a web page. Let's start with headers. Headers are like the headings in a book or newspaper. They give you an idea of what the following content is about. In HTML, headers are defined with tags ranging from H1 to H6, with H1 being the most important, often used for the main title of the page. Next, we have paragraphs. These are the meat of your web page, where most of the content lives. Just like in a piece of writing, paragraphs in HTML are used to group related sentences together. Paragraphs are wrapped in P tags, which stand for paragraph. Links and images are the doors and windows of our house. Links defined with the A tag take us from one place to another, whether it's another part of the same page, a different page on the same website, or a completely different website. Images, defined with the IMG tag, allow us to add visual elements to our page, which can make it more appealing and informative. Now these elements are great, but what makes HTML truly powerful is its ability to be semantic. Semantic HTML uses specific tags that describe the type and nature of the content. This not only makes our code easier to understand and maintain, but it also improves accessibility for people using assistive technologies and boosts our site's SEO, or search engine optimization. In summary, HTML is the language that we use to define the structure and content of our web pages. It's the architect's plan for our website, outlining where our headers, paragraphs, links, and images go. But remember, HTML gives our website structure, but what about style? That's where CSS comes in. CSS, or cascading style sheets, is what makes a website visually appealing. While HTML lays the foundation and structure of a website, CSS comes in and adds style and flair to those HTML elements. Think of it as the fashion designer of web development, adding color, texture, and style to an otherwise plain and simple structure. Now, how does CSS do this? It's all about targeting HTML elements and adding style rules to them. For instance, you might have a paragraph of text in your HTML. By default, it's going to be plain black text, probably in Times New Roman, on a white background. Not very exciting, is it? But with CSS, you can change that. You can make the text pink or green or any color under the sun. You can change the font to something more exciting like Arial or Comic Sans. You can even change the size of the text, make it bigger or smaller, or add a background color to make it pop. CSS gives you the power to transform this plain, boring text into something visually appealing and engaging. But how does CSS know which HTML elements to target? That's where CSS selectors come in. A CSS selector is like a spotlight, shining on the specific HTML elements you want to style. You can target elements by their type, like all the paragraphs or all the headings. You can also target elements by their class or ID, which are attributes you can add to your HTML elements. So if you have a paragraph with the class of important, you can write a CSS rule that targets all paragraphs with this class and make them bold and red, for instance. This way, you can highlight important information on your website and guide your user's attention to where you want it. With HTML and CSS, we have a structured and styled website. But to make it interactive, we need JavaScript. JavaScript is the magic ingredient that makes websites interactive. Now, let's delve into the role of JavaScript in website development. It's like the puppet master in a puppet show, controlling the actions and responses of the website elements to user interaction. When we talk about adding functionality, what we mean is introducing aspects like dynamic content, multimedia control, image animation, user input validation, and so much more. All of these are possible thanks to JavaScript. So, let's break it down. 
Dynamic content refers to elements on a web page that change without the need to reload the page. Ever noticed how on some websites, the content seems to update automatically? Maybe a news feed that constantly brings in new stories, or a stock ticker that updates with real-time prices. That's dynamic content at work, and it's JavaScript that makes it possible. Next, controlling multimedia. JavaScript allows you to play, pause, and control volume on audio and video media. It's like having a remote control for your website's multimedia content, ensuring that users can interact with it in a way that suits them best. What about animating images? JavaScript can manipulate CSS properties over time to create animations. Whether it's a simple button hover effect, a slide in menu, or a complex animated infographic, JavaScript brings it to life. And then there's user input validation. This is an essential aspect of any website that takes user input, whether it's a simple search box or a complex form. JavaScript checks the user's input to ensure it's in the correct format before it's submitted. This helps prevent errors and enhances the user experience, but that's not all. JavaScript can also handle events, create cookies, and even control web storage. It's an incredibly versatile language that adds depth and interactivity to the static structure and style provided by HTML and CSS. There you have it. With HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you can build a functional, attractive, and interactive website. It's a three-part harmony that forms the symphony of web development. So, ready to conduct your own web masterpiece? So, we've covered a lot today, but let's quickly recap. We started with the foundation of websites, exploring how HTML forms the backbone of the web, creating structure and content. Then we delved into CSS, the stylist of the web, that makes our websites visually appealing and user-friendly. Lastly, we dived into the world of JavaScript, the functionality wizard, adding interactive elements and making the web dynamic. Each of these languages plays a distinct yet interconnected role in web development. HTML lays the foundation, CSS adds style and layout, and JavaScript breathes life into static pages. Together, they form the trinity of web development, a powerful toolset that allows us to create anything from simple web pages to complex web applications. Remember, learning web development is a journey. Practice, experiment, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Good luck on your web development journey, 